Okay. So I'll be honest. I thought I was gonna have time to finish this today and I didn't. I've been working nonstop for my, my other job, which is reinforcing why I wanna quit by July, by my birthday. Um, but so the whole PowerPoint's done in information wise, but I'm missing photos from a few of the slides. I'll add them in before I upload them um, to the Google Drive. Let me minimize. Okay, recording, so we're good to go. So basically, um, the first like 12 of these oils are the oils that are in Rejuvenique oil. And Rejuvenique is in pretty much every single one of our products. So um, it makes sense that it's there. And you'll notice a common theme. So remember when we were going over the science of our products, we kept on saying compatible with the skin and hair, you know, clinically proven to be small enough to um, penetrate the hair cortex. So you're going to hear a lot of that over and over and over again. Um, and same with like anti-inflammatory. So Brenda, I think has a final today, so she's not on this call. Um, but she mentioned last call that, you know, um, anything with inflammation is really bad in the body. And inflammation is really what leads to those scalp conditions like dandruff, psoriasis, eczema, just itchiness overall, dryness. Um, so you're going to notice that a lot too that most of these oils, especially the ones in the rejuvenique oil, have anti-inflammatory properties. Um, so just to keep in mind, but it's going to be really cool, really interesting. So we'll get right into it. Okay. If you guys take a boomerang, tag me. I did my makeup just for the call. <laughs> um, so meadow, meadow foam seed oil, it contains over 98, like over 98% of this oil is long chain fatty acids, which are huge. Those are really important in biology. You need long and medium chain fatty acids. Um, it makes it extreme. Yes. I, did you move the slide? Because we could still see the title. Really? Yeah. Huh. Thank you for letting me know. Let me see. How weird. Thank you. Okay, let me stop the share. And let me start sharing again from here. Okay, now does it show you like the slide I'm on? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. Okay, so um, the long chain fatty acids just make it extremely stable. Um, so you just want to think about it um, basically as something that can't be chemically react very much. So like I was telling you guys with the hard water um, that it can, all the charged ions can actually have a chemical reaction with the ingredients in our bottles. This is kind of what stabilizes our serum. Um, we also um, know that it's really good for dry hair and dry skin. So it's in our skincare line, it's in our hair care, um, and it has a protective coating that allows it to retain the moisture. Um, let me see if I can mute everyone. Yeah, so Jan and Ninka, make sure you guys are muted. Um, and it protects against harsh UV rays, um, leaves hair feeling silky smooth, and it's also just known that it's going to help you retain that moisture. It's going to hydrate to add that shine, but it's not going to leave any greasiness. It's very lightweight. And that's what metal foam looks like. It's a flower. Then we have a bisinica seed oil, which I told you guys, this is like the main, main oil of our... Um, of our rejuvenique. Let me see if it lets me change this. I don't think it does. But again, this is light and non-greasy. It has omega-9 fatty acids, which is what helps retain that moisture. It boosts shine, um, boost shine and it protects hair from split ends. And this is actually gonna mimic the silicone. So this is what makes it, um, gives you that shine, is it's that it mimics the silicone due to the omega-9 fatty acid. Um, and that's what also gives conditioning and hydration. 
Um, it is also full of antioxidants. It's known to like have a huge, huge high concentration of antioxidants. Um, and so that also makes it a preservative, like a natural preservative for our products. Um, because of all the antioxidants, it's essentially like very anti-aging. Um, it's highly resistant to heat. So it also makes it a heat protectant. Um, and it's just known to, again, add that shine because of the silicone uh, effects that it has. Let me get over here and Okay, sorry guys, I had to unmute whoever was making noise. Okay. So perfect. The reason sorry, the reason that I put um the scientific name is because that's what it shows up on our product info sheet. So I want you guys to know what I'm talking about. So like Green tea oil is actually Camilla oleifera, or however you pronounce it. I'm sure I'm butchering it. Um, but then I put in parentheses green tea so you know what it is. Um, so like if someone tells you I have an allergy to green tea, but then you're searching the ingredient list for green tea, you're not going to find it. You're going to find the Camilla or Camellia oleifera. Um, so this is what the green tea seed looks like. It's, it's going to brighten your color. Um, leaves your hair feeling soft and shiny. It strengthens and conditions the scalp, which helps remove dandruff, of course, because most dandruff comes from dryness and like itchiness. So anything that conditions it is going to help it. Um, it restores hair to its original state and it adds volume as well. It uses polyphenols, which polyphenols are very similar to antioxidants in the sense that they fight free radicals, which neutralizes their effects. Their effects are known to be damaging the cells in your body, damaging the DNA, um, resulting in that inflammation that leads to dandruff. Um, it even causes organ damage, acceleration of all aging processes. So anything with polyphenols or antioxidants, you want to think like super anti-aging because of all of these reasons. Then we have tomato seed oil. It contains vital nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin E. You're going to hear about vitamin E and vitamin C a lot in these next slides. Um, it's helpful for treating itchy scalp, dandruff, as well as psoriasis and eczema. It provides collagen, project, or collagen support for proper tissue development on the scalp. So collagen is what helps us build our epidermis. Um, so you want that, obviously, a healthy scalp environment. Um, it helps lock in the moisture and protects against UV rays. Then we have carrot seed oil, which is to help with retaining moisture to the hair and the scalp. It tames frizz, softens and smooths your texture. Um, so, you know, you, you want to think smoothing shampoo, smoothing conditioner, um, protects your hair from future damage and future breakage, contains vitamin A and vitamin E and adds that healthy shine and glow. Then we have lemon peel oil, which promotes natural hair growth and prevents hair loss. It also helps treat dandruff. So it contains absorbic acid, vitamin C, which is an antioxidant and other antioxidants in very high concentration, which is going to help detox and cleanse the scalp and also slow down aging. So the vitamin C is going to stimulate the production of collagen, um, which is where you get anti-aging. And then that detox and that cleanse is why it's ideal for an oily scalp because it's going to help rebalance your oils that have been overproduced in the sebaceous gland. Um, and so that oil, whoops, my laptop is touchscreen, so like I'm constantly accidentally going to the next slide. Um, so the overproduction of oil that happens in the sebaceous gland, that oil is called sebum. So you're going to see that a lot. Um, and it's also antimicrobial and antiseptic. So it's great for targeting that inflammation um, and getting rid of those scalp treatments. You want to think like those scalp conditions are very much just like bacteria and funguses growing on the scalp, which sounds gross, but in science, that's literally happening everywhere all the time on earth. So it's not that gross, um, but you obviously, it's uncomfortable to live with. So we wanna use the lemon peel oil and all the other antimicrobial oils 
on the scalp to get rid of that inflammation and just cleanse it from all of that gunk. Then we also have lime oil, which is great to try uh, to treat a dry and irritable scalp. It's essential for treating dandruff, all in the same. Contains 1,8-senial, which is highly effective for treating hair loss. Um, it also helps remove excess oil from the scalp, and it's a natural fragrance. Um, then it looks very similar to this one, the bergamot fruit, but the bergamot has like these ridges, but do you see how it looks like a lemon? Um, I believe the bergamot fruit is from Brazil, but in Brazil, this is just as common as any other citrus, like a lime, a lemon, an orange, anything like that. Let me check the chat. Oh, do you? The bergamot too, Michelle? Very cool. It mentions a lot of these were good for um, de-stressing and I didn't put it in the PowerPoints, but it mentioned that like when you de-stress, whether, you know, inhaling something or applying it topically, you are allowing the muscles to relax, which is obviously just gonna promote more growth. Like they say it for anything. I think of Harry Potter in that first movie when they're like, stuck in those like vines or whatever and they're like you have to relax you have to relax um so they say it's the same thing for the scalp any of those essential oils that are good for relaxing like lavender citrus um it's gonna also relax the scalp and kind of when they relax it opens up the follicles and just allows for all the processes to work more efficiently yeah, and bergamot is also a natural fragrance, which is point number two. And Chloe's just saying um, it's in like 60% of perfumes and colognes. So it really is crazy how common it is, and we don't even know. Just like phenoxoethanol is such a common preservative, and none of us even know. So it's crazy how far education can take you. Um, it also has strong antibacterial and strong anti inflammatory properties, making it great for all scalp conditions, dandruff, eczema, psoriasis, itching, um, dry flakes, all of that. Um, it also stimulates circulation of the blood throughout the scalp, which is huge. The more oxygen we have flowing through our bloodstreams, remember your hair follicle is connected to a bloodstream. So the more circulation you have, the better. Um, it's delivering nutrients and oxygens to not only your follicle, um, not only the nearby follicles, but to all the nearby cells. Um, and this is going to nourish them significantly. It also produces serotonin and dopamine. This was the only oil I saw that produces like a neurochemical neurotransmitter. And it is to relax the scalp, allowing for better health. A few of the other oils mentioned relaxing the scalp but I only put it in this slide because it specifically mentioned um, the serotonin and the dopamine. And it also restores moisture that was lost to the hair. Um, and it's not just gonna restore that moisture, it's gonna add additional moisture and seal it in, lock it in with a coat of layering. Then we have boabub oil, which I've had I've heard about it because it's in like a bunch of my vegan products that I have. But on the product info sheet, it will show up as Adansonia digitata, which when I read that, I was like, digitata, like this does not sound natural, but whatever it is, that's what it looks like. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, and it moisturizes the scalp, full of vitamins, full of fatty acids, which are going to soften the skin, restore the epidermis. So it's gonna restore the scalp um, to its original integrity. Um, it also has the polyphenols, which are like the antioxidants that pre prevent cell damaging that happens during oxidative stress. Um, it's very lightweight, so it's not a greasy oil. Again, all of these oils are very lightweight. They're not greasy because they're compatible with the skin and with the scalp. Um, and it strengthens the hair, increasing elasticity and preventing breakage. Then we have Baruti fruit oil. This, um, it kind of looks like lychees. This is like a, this is like a sketch, but when I was looking at actual photos, it looks like a lychee and then the inside looks like a hazelnut, but a, a little bit bigger than a hazelnut. So then they get this seed 
And this seed inside is where they pull the oil from. And it has ultra high concentration of beta carotene, which is a very powerful antioxidant. And then it also contains um, fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6 and vitamin C and vitamin E. It protects um, your hair against UV damage. Um, it helps split, um, men's split ends. It tames frizziness. Um, it tames frizziness and tangles because it's very hydrating. Um, and it brings back that moisture and it has anti-inflammatory effects, which of course, I'm sure as you guys have picked up on now, anti-inflammatory means it treats those scalp conditions. So coconut oil um, delivers superior moisturization, helps combat and prevent dryness. Um, it, because of that, it prevents future breakage. Um, a huge part of breakage comes from lacking moisture or lacking protein. So that's always the first thing you want to do is deliver moisture and deliver nutrients to the hair. Um, it's also like it, it's a very good absorber. So it allows all of these ingredients to be absorbed and soaked into your hair. Um, it's also a heat protectant. That's why you probably see that people wear it as like sunscreen and stuff sometimes. Um, it encourages blood circulation to the scalp, which of course boosts blood flow and oxygen, which we love. Then we have the gardenia flower, which um, actually didn't put it here. It's one of our natural fragrances. It's a natural fragrance in the pet line, and it fights damage that occurs from free radicals. So, of course, you think uh, um, if it's counteracting free radicals, it is anti-aging. Um, it's anti-inflammatory and antibacterial, which helps with overall scalp health. Then we have Moringa seed oil, which Moringa um, is like kind of like a buzzword right now. It's very popular. It's like spirulina. It's a seed that has a lot of benefits, whether you consume it or you apply it topically. So it has anti-aging benefits. It applies moisture and shine. It fights dandruff and split ends. It helps strengthen and protect your hair with zinc and keratin. Obviously, a plant like a uh, um, a plant-based keratin. It promotes natural hair growth um, because of the zinc, the vitamin A, B, and E, and it helps retain your color hair longer. Then we have the pecky fruit oil. This contains high concentration of vitamin A and taco furrow content, which also acts as an antioxidant to protect the hair and skin. It protects it from premature aging signs. It helps treat eczema. Um, it makes hair soft, smooth, and radiant. It helps to reduce frizz, especially on curly hair. So there's actually two oils that are like really, really specific to curly hair, and this is one of it, the pecky fruit. Um, it restores that shine, and it's going to help retain the curl definition. Then we have sunflower seed oil, which contains vitamins A, B, C, and E, and it contains iron, potassium, and calcium. So it's great for anti-aging and hair growth. It's rich in omega-9 fatty acids, which are essential to promoting hair growth and preventing hair loss. Um, it conditions and moisturizes not only the scalp, but the follicles, and it protects against UV rays. We have olive fruit oil. This is in like, pretty much all of our products, but it's like the main base for our junior line actually. And it nourishes the scalp, conditions the scalp. It improves elasticity and it's ideal for if you have really coarse hair or dry and damaged and it's really good at controlling frizz. This is where I stop, I stop the photos and then it comes, it starts back again because I'm like really OCD or not OCD. I guess I like, get bored easily so i always start at the beginning and then i start at the back and then i like finish in the middle i do that for everything like essays cooking powerpoints it's really strange so the middle's missing photos and then the end has photos again like the last 20 slides um but let me know if anyone's on the same page i have the chat open here um but contains vitamin e b complex copper zinc selenium which selenium 
is low key so good for hair growth, just like um, like clover leaf extract. Um, we used to sell supplements, which I do believe that we will be selling supplements again very soon before 2021. Um, but selenium was one of the highest um, volume ingredients in our supplements. It's very, very good for hair growth. Um, it, clo it closely resembles the human sebum. So like I mentioned, that sebum is the oily substance that um, it's naturally produced in the sebaceous gland. And when you have that overproduction is when you have really oily scalp. So this oil, if you have a dry scalp, um, this is great to help mimic or resemble the oil of your scalp to until it balances out itself. Um, it also protects your hair from harsh chemicals, prevents breakage. Um, it helps detangle and manage your split ends. It tames frizz, adds shine, um, and it cleans residues of blocked and encrusted sebum or sebum, leading to reduced hair loss and diminished hair damage. So. If you're really trying to get someone's attention, I say that you ask when they're like, no, nothing is going to help me. I just have an oily scalp. I've had it my whole life. I'm used to it. Like I've tried everything. Be like, really? Have you tried anything that targets the sebum on your sebaceous gland? And I bet they'll be like, oh, what a, what a, what? Like they're not going to know what you're talking about. And then you can provide that value. Um, we have clover flower extract, which it has, um, I tried to include information here that's different than on the slide about Capixel because the Capixel comes from the red clover. But basically it has all these ingredients um, that inhibit the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, which that plus DHT are super responsible for premature hair loss, male pattern baldness, alopecia, anything like that. Um, and so the biocanon A inhibits the 5 alpha reductase enzyme and the DHT. It reduces inflammation and stimulates protein production near the hair follicle. Um, that's not only going to help with hair growth, but hair density, that strength, that thickness. Um, it also has that Davezine and Jennystein, which um, prevent dandruff and any scalp irritations. Um, and then the Dadezine, Genesine, and Formononatine, and Biocanon A, um, they inhibit hair follicle shrinkage. So it's going to keep the hair follicle wide and open so that it can absorb the oxygen, the nutrients, the minerals, and just improve the thickness. It can allow the hair strand to grow thick and wide and strong. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Then we have pea extract, which of course is procatalin. So this is capixel, this is procatalin. Um, the antioxidants are um, what help the anti-aging process. It's anti-inflammatory as well, which counteracts the free radical damage. Like I mentioned before, the free radicals basically pick up all these charged ions, mainly electrons, from cells that are trying to do other processes in the body. So it's essentially like if you have a bunch of tables holding up cakes for like a cake bake-off show, and then some guy just starts taking one leg off of every table, and you're like, dude, I'm trying to hold these cakes up. That's literally what these free radicals are doing. They're taking these electrons from other cells, and they're like, dude, we're trying to moisturize the scalp. Like, can you not? So you want anti-inflammatory properties in your products um, or in your essential oils. It also has vitamin C, which helps with the collagen production. Again, that's going to help build the epidermis of the scalp. It contains vitamin B6 and vitamin B12, which you guys probably know as biotin. Um, and this is going to help carry oxygen and nutrients to the scalp. It prevents shedding and breakage. Um, it also has peppermint oil, which is used a, as an astringent. And an astringent is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's something that's going to tighten and it's going to stop the overproduction of oils, which is going to allow your, P, your scalp's pH to balance out. Um, it also hydrates the scalp, fights to eliminate any dandruff resulting from that dryness. Um, it stimulates the follicle by increasing blood circulation, which in turn increases the oxygen delivered to the scalp. 
It's rich in Pelagon and Menton, or Pelagon and Menton. I don't really know how to say them. Um, which strengthens your roots of your, which prevents future hair loss. Because if you have weak roots, when you grow, it's just going to have that easy breakage. Um, and it's full of proteins and nutrients, plus anti-inflammatory, plus antibacterial properties, making it great for treating any scalp condition. So a huge, huge amount of peppermint oil goes into our black two-in-one shampoo, which is why it is so amazing, as you can see. Um, I'm going to close my window because it's open and it's creeping me out. Okay. So I don't have any word on the supplements, but I do know that they're in the works. Like Monet is really, um, into right now the Monet gear. Um, bringing the CBD line back permanently, creating like more of like a body wash, deodorant, sunscreen, kind of like that. Like that is all happening and being revamped within 2020, like before 2021. Um, let me see. Spearmint, it is antifungal and antibacterial in nature, so it makes it very effective to treating scalp conditions like dandruff. Um, the cooling menthol is excellent remedy for itching and dryness. Um, it's high in antioxidants, so anti-aging, and it provides relief to hormone imbalances. So think about it, that 5-alpha-beta reductase enzyme and the DHT and the estrogen and the testosterone that all affect hair loss and hair thinning can be um, relieved with this spearmint oil because it relieves hormone imbalances um, and it stimulates the hair follicles increasing that blood flow. Um, then we have th thyme which stimulates blood circulation supporting the hair growth. It's a known remedy for like centuries for dandruff ex eczema and psoriasis it keeps hair your it keeps hair thick and strong and prevents any thinning or breakage and it's antifungal and antibacterial as well then we have linseed extract which actually comes from flax seeds um, it's rich in all three omega acids omega-3 omega-6 omega-9 so it you want to think moisture 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 it adds shine um, it's going to boost natural hair growth. It's going to prevent against future damage because like I said, anything that's moisturizing or hydrating is also strengthening because most breakage comes from dehydration or from lack of protein. Linseed also counteracts DHT, so that is huge. Then we have nettle leaf extract, which also works as an astringent to balance out excessive oil production. It's an anti-inflammatory, um, it stimulates follicles to boost natural hair growth, and it has silica and sulfur um, to strengthen hair roots and follicles. Um, then we have rosemary leaf oil, which improves blood circulation. Again, on the scalp, that's so important because that means we're delivering the oxygen and the nutrients um, effectively. Uh, anti-inflammatory, so dandruff, psoriasis, eczema, dryness, itchiness, all of that is going to be helped. It promotes nerve growth, so re, I guess getting those dormant follicles reactivated, um, healthy again. It helps maintain your hair color and improves hair texture. Um, can you go back to the previous screen? Rosemary? Is this good? Nettle leaf. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna blow my nose because you guys already know my allergies are bad, but I started buying this edel, um, elderberry syrup. And I have to say, I went from blowing my nose 70 times a day to like four times a day. So I'm pretty impressed. Okay. 
but okay, I'm going to continue because I want to get you guys out of here in within the hour and the PowerPoint will be uploaded. So rosehip oil softens the scalp, allowing for better hair growth. It's anti-inflammatory and it also has vitamin E and polyphenols. So the polyphenols are um, like antioxidants. They fight off those free radicals. It also contains the omega fatty acids, which means moisturization. Woohoo! Guys, I'm having too much fun with this. Sorry. Wait, Chloe, what does metal do for allergies? Um, so again, guys, omega fatty acids moisturizes. Wait, yes, Chloe, we're going to talk. Yeah, I was going to say, um, it's good to like, if you get freeze dried nettle, like I was going to say as a holistic method, like it helps to clear up like your sinuses and everything. So the fact that it's in our products too, as an anti-inflammatory, like they definitely work together, but you could also use it for yourself, like to help if you're using elderberry syrup too already. Perfect. Awesome. Good to know. Um, yeah, my allergies have seriously gotten so much better. I'm kind of shocked, but I'm going to wait it out until I finish my whole jug that I bought. Um, but what was I going to say about the nettle? Oh, that you said that if you use it in combination. So a lot of these oils actually, as I was doing my research, I pretty much went on like three to four websites for every single oil to like double check that what they were saying was accurate. Um, and a lot of them kept saying like lavender oil, raspberry oil, um, olive oil, coconut oil, um, avocado oil, like all of those oils, they kept on reiterating, like if you mix them together, they're just even stronger together. So that's, I think what is so powerful, but behind rejuvenique oil, I think I've told you guys the story of my boyfriend. He was super supportive of my, of my business, but like did not try the products because he suffered from dandruff, thinning, a receding hairline, eczema. He had tried everything. He was like, babe, I support your business, but like these products will not save me. I'm like a lost cause. And he's also allergic to mosquito bites. And so he tried rejuvenico on his mosquito bites. He was like shocked that in within 20 minutes they were gone. Um, and so then he started using black shampoo with junior conditioner and rejuvenico oil and his eczema, dandruff, everything went away completely. Um, but he was like telling me, he's like, I don't understand. Like I had been using jabo jabobo oil. I had been using castor oil. I had been using rosehip oil. I had been using um, coconut oil. Like he had been making his own remedies at home for an entire year and a half while we were dating prior to me doing Monet. So he's like, how come those oils didn't work at all? Like they didn't do anything but rejuvenique oil does. And it's because rejuvenique oil is literally a blend, a clinically proven blend. We take those words for granted. We think it's just some catchphrase they say on the website, but it has so much meaning. It is a clinically proven blend to do all of these things that we say. And what's also really important is that it's the perfect ratio and they are the highest quality grade. They are sustainable, ethically sourced. Um, you know, I know we can't promote it as organic, but I truly believe like if they're the highest quality, that has to mean that it's like for the most part organic. Um, so you really like, it really just speaks the power behind our rejuvenic oil and how it powers everything else in our products. Um, so I thought that was super interesting because I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably gotten that rebuttal like, oh, I already use vegan shampoo or I already make my own mix of oils. I've gotten that from at least five prospects. Um, but explaining them that like, okay, but you know, how many oils are you using? What's the blend? How do you know the ratios? Um, how, what's the quality grade? Like, are you getting CVS brand? Are you getting from like a holistic farm or whatever? Um, so very interesting. Rose hip, it softens the scalp, it has the polyphenols, it boosts collagen production, and vitamin A protects against sun damage. Then we have avocado oil, which is great for increasing that manageability of your hair. It helps to tangle it. Um, it moisturizes the scalp and soothes it. 
so let me get like so like let me see it on the chat if it just says it moisturizes and conditions the scalp what does it have in it let me see if you guys are retaining as much information as i am i said it on the last slide i did like a dance party i said anyone okay fatty acids moisturization hydration conditioning is fatty acids fatty acids fatty acids antioxidants is anti-aging anti-aging and then um anti-inflammatory you want to think scalp conditions uh dandruff eczema psoriasis so i'm gonna write that in the chat for you guys because i feel like i've been trying to point it out every slide so anti inflammatory scalp conditions um anti oxidants anti-aging slash free radicals fatty acids hydration moisture conditions so those are like three takeaways that you i really want you guys to have from this um from this presentation i guess can you see it did i send it to everyone yes okay so it also has biotin vitamins a b5 vitamin e it protects the hair from sun damage seawater and chlorine this was just on the last slide does anyone know how it protects from sun damage, seawater, and chlorine? Just put it in the chat. Vitamin A. Vitamin A, just like in rosehip oil, avocado oil. Anything with vitamin A is going to protect against that sun damage. Um, and seawater and chlorine, which is huge. So that's why I always use that example. I'm like, a bleached blonde who's a swimmer in chlorine in Nevada doesn't have the same hair type as me living in humid Miami, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's funny. So then argon oil nourishes the scalp to stimulate hair growth. Um, it strengthens and repairs damage, moisturizes the shaft, reduces frizz and flyaways, protects against UV rays, um, protects against heat damage and it may boost that shine without making your hair look greasy. Um, and this is like organic, pure argon oil, not man made argon oil. And then we have jasmine flower extract, which helps provide and treat damaged hair. Um, it preserves, let's see how we're looking. It preserves hair color and helps your maintain your hair color for longer. It leaves it looking smooth, soft, so kind of just tames it. Um, and its antiseptic properties are great for treating those scalp conditions. Then thank you. Wait, what was the last thing you heard? Okay, so I'll just start off with chia seeds. So salvia hispanica, when I read this, I thought it when I read this on the product info sheet, I was like, oh my god, salvia is what Miley Cyrus got high off of and it's in our products, but it's just chia seeds, guys. I had no idea. So when you see this on the product info sheet, it's just a chia seed um, and it prevents hair loss by boosting oxygen flow to the scalp. It's an excellent source of iron and rich in antioxidants. So antioxidants mean what? I'm not answering this time for you guys. Anti-aging, yes, that is right. And we are? the best fastest growing anti-aging hair care on the market so i take such pride in that it also contains make sure you guys are muted 
Um, it also contains perfect. It also contains um, copper, which helps maintain the production of melanin. And melanin is what delays the graying of your hair, and it's going to help intensify your original color. Um, so this is huge. Um, it's going to boost that shine as well as intensifying the color, and it's going to thicken your hair and boost natural hair growth. Then we have corn oil, which prevents scalp infections. It contains omega-6 and omega-9 fatty acids to help lock in the moisture and hydration. Because that's what fatty acids do, right? Just like I mentioned in the chat. Um, add shine, adds that silky smooth look to your hair because of course, most you, when your hair looks dry, brittle, dull, it's because it's dehydrated. So anything that's adding that moisture and that hydration is gonna add that shine and that silky smooth feeling. Um, vitamin E to prevent damage from the free radicals and the oxidative stress. It nourishes the hair bulbs to prevent hair loss and it has the phytoesterols to help strengthen the hair. Then we have Camellia sinensis leaf extract which promotes blood circulation to the scalp, stimulating new hair growth. Um, it prevents damage to lipid cells and DNA with this ingredient that it has, cam camphorol. And it prevents hair loss by preventing testosterone to be converted to DHT. Um, and how it does that is with those polyphenols. Then we have activated charcoal blend. This is only in our charcoal jelly mask, but it helps remove impurities. It's derived from bamboo charcoal extract and North American hardwood. We're almost done, guys. I think we have like 15 slides left. Um, we have camel meal. This is in almost all of our products, but no, it's not in almost all of our products. It's in a lot of them. Um, but what it's really, really in is our color enhance for the blondes, the brilliant blondes. It color enhances for the golden highlights and it boosts you, just your color vibrancy. It makes your hair look a lot like more radiant. Um, it soothes the scalp. It protects from environmental conditions. So like air pollutants, it strengthens the hair starting from the roots all the way down. It balance out, balances out excess oil production, AKA, AKA sebum. It's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory and it helps maintain your hair color and soothe any itchiness because again, it's very soothing. Um, then we have the Indian walnut leaf extract, which is color enhanced for brown highlights and boost color vibrancy. This is only found in our beautiful brunette and no other products. Then we have the horse chestnut seed extract, which is to color enhance the brown highlights as well. So these are the two um, pigmentations that we use for our brilliant brunette, no, for our, yeah, brilliant brunette, no, beautiful brunette. Sorry, the brilliant and the beautiful confuse me. Beautiful brunette is with the horse chestnut and the Indian walnut. Then um, for our brilliant blonde, we have golden highlights boosted by the turmeric root extract and also by the calendula flower. And then for our perfectly platinum, we use lavender flower to enhance the platinum highlights and reduce brassiness. And same with the violet flower. So these two for perfectly platinum. Um, we also have the centura extract for the platinum, perfectly platinum and to reduce brassiness um, and malo extract, which I thought these malos were so cute. Um, we have refined grapeseed oil. This is found in a few of our products, but more specifically the Super Nourish line. Um, it's a feather light oil full of antioxidants and vitamins. It absorbs quickly nourishing and moisturizing the hair. Sweet almond oil, or sweet almond seed oil is rich in vitamin A, so it protects um, the strands from chlorine, seawater, 
um, sun damage, and it's very moisturizing, which of course leads to shiny, silky, soft, smooth hair. Also in our Super Nourish, we have mango seed butter, and this is to protect from environmental elements. So, you know, just any air pollution, dust, um, this is crazy, but I know if Katrina and Lexi are on here, the OLL Carnival, Whenever I get home from being like at a field or a fair or anything, when I wash my hair, I kid you not, dust gets stuck in it. And like, I can see the water kind of grayish when I am rinsing my scalp. And same for like when you blow your nose, like sometimes you blow your nose and your, your mocos are like a little gray from dust and dirt. If you've been at the fair or a carnival or an amusement park or whatever, um, so I found this mango seed butter to be super interesting, how it protects against environmental elements. I'm glad you guys are all agreeing with me, because if you said I was the only one, I'd be like, awkward. Um, then we have pomegranate seed oil, which naturally moisturizes and nourishes the scalp, leaving the hair healthier looking and just stronger in general. Um, Raspberry seed oil is an amazing source of vitamin B, which is what helps maintain our elasticity. So that strength and that bounce in your hair. And that is pretty much it, guys. So what do you think? Let me hear it. How did it go? Do you guys feel like you learned something? Did you see a lot of common connections? Um, do you feel like you're going to be more confident? I know Leslie has been getting so many questions about essential oils. So let me know, guys. I'm going to mute myself. Yeah, I'm like really big into essential oils. I have my diffuser going on all day, every day. So it's super cool to learn how like, I kind of like always smell them, but like the purpose of them and like why they're in our products is pretty cool to connect like all the dots. I agree. And we learned so many ways. Like I got the, I have the doTERRA oil set. I barely used it to be honest, but it comes with this book and it shows you how like you can use the lemon since it's antiseptic. If you use lemon and vinegar, that's your detergent and like that's your mop cleaner. So then it's like a vegan cleaner instead of going to the store and buying something with chemicals. So all of it was just clicking and clicking and clicking for me. I loved it because of course we all want to like start adopting a better lifestyle, um, be more informed, be educated. So I love that we get to share that with others too. And that's something that you guys can do. Like I now want to do a post with my lemon oil, cleaning with vinegar, and then also mentioning like, you know, it's also important to keep your scalp healthy and clean too. And you can do like a dual post. So it's more about lifestyle instead of money. I muted myself and then unmuted it again. But yes, it was so helpful. Like, I can't wait to get on my story and actually, like, talk about all these oils and these essential oils because that's what people really don't know is they just constantly hear us, like, join our team. This is an amazing opportunity. This is a golden ticket. But they never hear us actually, like, talk about the nitty-gritty of the ingredients and why they're so amazing and why they help so many people. So I can't wait to really, like, educate my audience like extremely about this because I feel like they really need to hear it. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think like I always liked the company because we were like all natural and you know, we're using a lot of products that like other people don't. So I think I'm going to do like more, you know, research too because I feel like that, like I always talk about health. Like I really like being healthy like as as far as what you're eating and then knowing that we're getting all these different you know vitamins and antioxidants in our shampoos and conditioner i personally didn't realize how many there were and even if they were in there and i knew what they were i didn't realize how many benefits like each of them can bring yeah i love that and it's actually crazy because i literally went info sheet by info sheet and when you're looking at the ingredients i would say 50 to 70 percent of the ingredients are essential oils and then the rest is like water and whatever like a few other things that we need um so it's pretty crazy and then 
Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, so like if you guys have a diffuser, you can do one day a diffuser and be like, I'm doing this lavender citrus mix for X, Y, and Z. And these are the benefits. And then you can be like, did you know that this shampoo or this styling product also had lavender and lemon for these benefits? Um, and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see how you guys incorporate it. I've been seeing so much action from you guys. Like we do a training and I'm seeing everyone doing a post and like no one's post is the same. You guys are getting so creative, really finding your own voice, um, building your brand. So I just want to say kudos to you guys because a lot of people get resources and do nothing with it. So your execution is super admirable. Um, I'm so proud to be leading you guys and to be learning with you guys every single day. Don't forget tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I may move it to 8, but we'll see. So far at 7 p.m., um, I have the training for VIP and retail and market partner conversations, how the, those should look. And then on Saturday, we have our skincare training, which I'm super, super excited. That one should be about two hours. Um, but I'm so excited. We're going to go over the ingredients. We're going to go over their uses, like skincare tips, um, frequently asked questions, like everything, everything, everything skincare. So I'm super excited for that. But other than that,